Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at the LinkPad IDE. This is part three of a three-part series. This will conclude the series as we are going to take a dive into the more advanced or more complex features that the IDE will allow us to do. The first was an introduction to LinkPad. The second was a little uh, immediate or an intermediate overview of LinkPad. What we're going to do today is we're going to see how we can use external assemblies within LinkPad to do code snippet execution. One thing to keep in mind whenever you're doing code snippet execution, you probably want to change it to be a statement evaluation. So whether it's C Sharp or VB is irrelevant, choose the language you like. Let's get started and try something relatively straightforward. I want to do foo.dump. I'm actually going to dump this twice. So I'm going to do foo.dump and another foo.dump, and I can write this out. And We've seen this before, it's nothing major. But now watch what I want to do. I want to call, throw a system.thread.sleep in there. Let's try this, see what happens. When I hit F5 now, you'll notice it is sleeping. It's executing, waiting, waiting, and then finally it runs. And it sees it takes 2.5 seconds. What I've actually shown here is I've used this, a method from the system.threading namespace and system.threading assembly without having to actually reference that assembly directly. The reason for that is the IDE will actually include that as part of the default settings. Now what if I want to use something like this? Let's say I want to do a message box I show. Will this work? Well as it sits right now, no it won't. Because the IDE has no idea what the, the, the object message box is. So what we can do is we can come up to Query, Advanced, or simply at F4, and we'll get this window where we can add additional references. So let's go ahead and click Add, and scroll all the way towards the bottom until we find System.Windows.Form, right here, and click OK. Click OK again, and now let's try this again. Wait, I get the same error, but I've told it to use System.Windows.Forms assembly. Oh, what happened? Ah, I know what it is. So let's go back to advanced properties. I have told it to use that name, but similar to like Visual Studio, I've not actually told it what namespace to use. So let's do this. And let's try this. Identifier expected. Using as a keyword. Interesting. What just happened? Ah, you know what? Maybe I don't need the semicolon, and maybe I don't need the using statement. Let's try this. Hey, I got a message box. So what happened here? We added the namespace, but keep in mind that when you're adding a namespace within LinkPad, you don't actually have to use the using statement or the semicolon. You just list them out one on a line. Well, that's pretty cool. So that tells me that I can actually use another assembly that isn't part of the default setup within LinkPad. I wonder if I can use one of my own assemblies. Hmm, let's try that. Let's do advanced properties. Let's go ahead and get rid of this one because I don't need it anymore. Let's do add. Now I'm coming down here click browse. And I'm going to include my dimecastnet.domain assembly. And because I know I'm going to need to change the namespace, let's go ahead and add my namespace. Remember we don't use the using statement. Let's do something like this. I actually want to run a link statement. So right here, I'm just going to create a simple statement that will do a join on a couple tables. And I'll select back a new object called cast episode sponsor. Cast episode sponsor is one of my domain entities. And we'll do something like id equals e dot id episode id equals episode. Uh, 
And then finally, sponsor name equals s dot sponsor name. And then we'll come out here and we'll do items dot dump. Let's see what happens. Type of namespace entities does not exist. Interesting. Check F4. Well, I know this works because obviously it's just a re reference to assembly. What happened over here? Ah, like all things in C sharp, everything's case specific. So, what this shows you is link pad. It does need to be cased correctly, so if you don't case it correctly, you will get a runtime error. So let's go ahead and click OK. And if you spell sponsor right, spell sponsor right again. Man, I really don't know how to spell the word sponsor, do I? So what just happened? Great, it actually ran. You'll notice here I have a I queryable of episode, cast episode sponsors, six items. It populates the IDs, it populates the sponsor IDs and the sponsor names, one after another. So what have we just demonstrated? We've demonstrated that we can use not only a built-in assembly that comes with the .NET framework, but any assembly. So it can be our own, it can be a third party, you name it, it's ours. We've also gone over the fact that when you add a namespace, the casing is very, very important, especially in C-sharp. So I kind of hope you've learned that you can use the LinkPad IDE to do a lot more than simply LinkPad evaluation. You can do full-blown .NET snippet evaluation within LinkPad. Um, it's a great tool, allow you to quickly evaluate some statements. I implore everybody to use it as, on a regular basis. I know I have fallen in love with it, so to speak. I use it quite often, and it's uh, one of my top tools nowadays. So I hope you learned something. Until next time.